Can you sharpshooter do it? Come on! Oh, we gotta put a light over here. How yes, the mantis has all got trapped. The mantis has all got trapped. For the swarm! <laughs> oh my god, that worked! I hate that they all aggroed the freaking only guy that could, uh... Shoot them. But it worked. Alright. Butcher all these, except observe that one. Bro, that was str I gotta take my hoodie off! That was stressful! Oh my god, and everyone needs treatment. They're all injured. Heal, heal yourselves to save time. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I got myself into here? I need to drink while they're paying attention. Holy Oh man. Bet your heart rate went up? Yeah, burned a calorie. At least. Alright, let's do, um... Does hunting include butchering? I think it does. Let's do that. There we go. Yeah, because we need, we need to butcher before the stuff rots. Laura cannot heal self insufficient medicines. All right, don't wait for treatment then. Can I craft that medicine? Need glitter caps. We can get that. Harvest glitter caps. So, she's not bleeding out or anything, but she's got burns on her. Oh man. This is fun though. This is like, I'm absolutely having to use everything I knew from my previous playthroughs for this. I will say, when I saw Junos in the first attack on the... I, I thought it was over. I legitimately was just like, oh, I'm dead. This is over. Like, there's no way. So I was... Oh, shoot. <laughs> Ken stayed awake bandaging himself the entire night. Extreme heat wave. Oh, boy. Uh, we need that cloth. Paulette has heat stroke. Great. Um. Hmm. Healing level up, nice. Humming fly discovered, so we can butcher that now. And that insect meat is getting fermented into gasoline. Because that's how it works. Okay, we've got some glitter caps, so we can add... Make healing balm to the queue. Which should take care of the burns. 130 degrees Fahrenheit, is that hot? It is. Uh, hold on a second, let me just, do, let's see, 130F to Celsius. That is 54 degrees Celsius. I converted it from hamburgers to metric for you. I think we're all on the same page now.
On Earth, the highest recorded temperature ever is 134. Um, my oven goes to 400. <laughs> I think you might be mistaken. <laughs> Scissor hand demolisher, another new one. All right, so this is done. I wonder if you even find more people in the military mission. Because I think the whole idea is you went to a world that was uninhabited to start making a colony, like a, a base. So I, I honestly wonder if we're going to find more people at all. Heat stroke. I'm sorry. I need to. We need some cloth so we can like make them some like baseball caps and stuff to keep the sun off them a little bit. Where that, that little group of is this a cloth blossom? Yeah, there's like one over here. I wanted to harvest them, but. Uh, Meltdown Laura, I'm sorry. For crafting 5, cool. No queue to research. Um, we've got hydroponic racks. I don't exactly know how to use those at the, uh, yet. Actually, do flare shielding. Life-threatening heat stroke pull up. Uh, <laughs> a beanie. Yeah, that'll that will not help. I want to tell her to get under this roof just because it's in the shade. You know, I've never really done this before. Can I? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna try something. No, 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 not room. I want a roof. I wanted to just make like a like an outdoor outdoor like pavilion type thing here. Um, hold on. 109 degrees Fahrenheit is not life threatening temperature. If her internal temperature is 100 and 109, it is. I think like 105. Like if you if you, like your thermometer temperature is like 105, I think that's near lethal. I had this over here to keep them warm, but that's not an issue right now. Uh, that's as low as it can go, for whatever reason. Alright, it's not pretty, but it should help keep them more alive.
Uh, great. Can you make bows? I need cloth. We, we need like cloth or leather plus wood. We've got wood. I am working on trying to get the other stuff. Actually, wait, did they ever... Okay, they did farm the skin barks I told them to. We might actually be able to. I had been waiting on that. No, I don't... So I can make a crossbow, but I don't have income of metal alloys. I don't want to use them on that. Um, short bow, I need cloth or leather. I can make veggie leather from the skin bark. It's gonna take time, though. All right, quick save in case this goes terribly wrong. Two bows could change the outcome. Yeah. Oh my god, there was a Juno. I did not realize. Well, I think this is gonna be a reload. So I saw that there was bugs and some bloated insects. I did not think the Ju I did not see the Junos, because that was like off the edge of the screen. Alright. Alright, let's reload. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. All right, I don't know if she's gonna be able to make one in time, but I am gonna t try making one single crossbow and see if I can finish in time. Nah, she's barely started. There's no way. Uh... I'm pretty sure the big fat thing is the bloated insects. I'm almost positive that those will um, get caught in the traps. The Junos, however, will not.
I don't know what that Juno's doing, but... Wait, is he hitting through the wall, or is he hitting the wall? No, the only guy with a gun! Looking really bad. There's two of them conscious still. I'm trying to bait them to come down to the ground. Can't reach. God dang it, this is so awful. One conscious, one left. Uh, the problem is that... A lot of them are bleeding to death. Where's Quinn? Quinn, Laura, and Krista, the ones with the red droplet, they're bleeding out. Infection from mistreatment. Great! The only doctor is not a doctor! I may have to reload. We'll see. I would really like if someone else just regained consciousness suddenly. Uh, that right there is the only thing that needs to be cured. The rest of the stuff doesn't really matter right now, but she's just not getting it. And some of them are getting a heat stroke. Yeah, Laura, Krista, and Quinn are all bleeding out. I could, if I have to, then one of the next things to try would be reloading to before the save I last reloaded to. Dude, this is silly. He's got one gaping, bleeding wound and a bunch of birds. Just put a bandage on the gaping wound. That's it. That's all I need you to do. Ah. And she keeps giving him infections because she's so bad at this. Dude, the people that are down on the ground are like starving to death now. All right, all right. Man. Okay, so let's see. All 
Alright, this was five minutes before the attack. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, workbench, craft, no, craft weapon, crossbow, one time only, because we can't afford these right now. Alright, she's making the crossbow. I will say, after you reload, the attack can come from a different direction, which could change things. Put this back in the queue. to eventually have a whole house over here. So let's start with that and see if we can use this for the attack. Oh, I meant to pause the construction, not can't. That's fine, that's fine. I can redo that later. I wanted to pause that construction so she worked on this. Is this Walking Dead Sims? No. Stranded Alien Dawn, the military mission. On insane difficulty. Maybe close the gate before the attack. Doesn't that just make the Junos break through the walls? Also, if the gate's closed, I think the... the the big, uh, the bloated bugs will not walk into the traps. They'll just break through the walls. Call that life-threatening heat stroke. Hey! What's up? Someone just woke up. Hydroponic racks. Mm. Did you hear anything weird? He's using his scratching post. New resource electronics. All right, who has the highest combat skill besides Ken? God, oh, they're all terrible. Samantha does. Um, Samantha, grab the crossbow. No one else has the skill level to do this construction, so they have to just wait on Samantha to do it, which is not great. Plenty to tame anything this run. Maybe. It's a lot easier to get carbon if you have a broodmother pet. Finish it in time. We do have the crossbow, though.
It's working! It's working! All right, Quinn, undraft, heal yourself. Krista, undraft, heal yourself. Uh, Laura, undraft, heal yourself. Paulette, undraft. Ken and Samantha, come here. Yeah, mate, getting that crossbow out earlier was a, you know, going from one ranged attacker to two was pretty huge. I was hoping to conserve the metal alloys because I just, I was being stingy because we don't have metal alloy production, but we needed that. Dude, they're giving themselves so many infections because <laughs> they're all so bad at medicine. Oh, quick save! Ah, quick save. Oh, shoot. Uh, cancel that. Hey, Oliver. What game is this? This is Stranded Alien Dawn. Is there a new update? Uh, yes, Master of Incive. There was a... Uh, th they full released the game. It's in 1.0, and they added a bunch more stuff to it. And this is called the Military Playthrough, where instead of being stranded on a planet, you were sent to a planet um, intentionally to try and basically tame the place. We are out of bandages. That's super bad. I have nothing I can make bandages from. That is really bad. Um. We got people bleeding. Okay. Paulette, wake up, make veggie leather.